You know what this means. Let's race. <laughs> Who is ready for my Zwift racing comeback? I definitely am. I've not been on for a while since I've been recovering for an injury. And so we're in the pens at the start of the race. And as always, with Zwift races, I think everyone gets a little bit excited at the start and the watts are just, you gotta just push them down when you're in the pen before you even set off. And yeah, these watts aren't gonna be the watts throughout the race. It's a, I think it's 27K, it's Climber's Gambit in Watopia. And this is part of the Zwift Racing League, which is amazing. There's lots of different categories, so there is a team that is gonna be perfect for you. I absolutely love it. It's every Tuesday. And as you see the little flashing circle at the top, that is the power-up. I've been given the anvil, which basically is really good for, if there's a big descent, it basically adds 50 kilos onto your weight, so it means you go faster downhill. I don't want that because this is an undulating course with a big climb at the end, so I got rid of it. And then later on in the race, I got given the feather, which means that you're lighter on climb. So we're just going up a little climb here and everyone's had the same idea. We're all using the feathers. So make sure that you use your power ups and know them specifically in a race. because what you'll see in a little bit, how it can go wrong if you don't use them right. So we're just settling in now. My heart rate's come down. The watts are really good. I'm just like, yes, this is this course is for me. Undulating with a big climb at the end. Perfect until I got dropped. I, I was messing around, I think, with my phone, um, changing the music. I wasn't really looking what was going on and I got dropped. So as you can see there, I'm like 14, 15 seconds behind and look at my face. I was just like, oh, I just don't want to do this. It's so much harder to ride on your own. You're not in a pack, you've not got any draft effect. And then now I'm like 30 seconds behind. However, in my head, I was like, just keep going. And this course, as you'll see here, this is the climb we're heading towards. It is 6.2K, 5.4% average. And I'm like, this is my climb. This is my course. So I'm just gonna pick people out on the climb. And this is the climb starting. So I was like, come on. I think for me, like that's just what I'm used to doing. Like I'm really, I guess, strong at just sticking at a climb, a long climb. I'm not very good on the flats, but on a climb, I can, I can hold good power. So, I'm just picking people off. I'm like, I think it went specifically when you can see people. And again, like this is a race, but to me, I just use this as just fun and just the best workout ever, because I feel like when you've got that like stimulus of someone in front of you, you just want to catch them up. And I never push this hard in training or maybe even out on the road. I think Zwift just gets, specifically Zwift racing gets the best out of me, I guess, fitness wise, because you've got all this and it's a race and it brings my little competitive side out but it is just for so much fun so at this point i am now 17th and i'm like this is amazing like i can't believe i've managed to catch people up and i'm just really happy but i'm still pushing and what i'm trying to do at this point i'm like okay i'm 16th maybe i could get in like the top 10 maybe so i'm just going to keep my power up i'm just going to keep pushing and what i do is if you look at the right hand side of the screen where my name is highlighted in blue, you can see people before ahead, ahead of you and behind and how many seconds they are and also how many watts per kilo they're putting out. And actually this is my teammate, sorry about that. I've got to get up the climb though. But um, yeah, I also race with Rafa and that was my Rafa teammate. But you just have to look ahead. So the person in front of me is like 17 seconds ahead and they're doing 3.7 watts per kilo. If I want to catch them, I need to keep my watts per kilo higher. So I'm currently doing like four and eventually I do catch them. So that's how you kind of gauge in a race if you're going to be able to catch them up or not. And I guess that's the difference between outdoor racing. You don't get that kind of data, but in Zwift you do. So you've got to use it. And then there was two people ahead of me. I was like, right, I can get into 10th here. So I was just looking, she's like a couple of seconds ahead. I was like, yes, I can try and push past. She was pretty strong. And I was just like, she was making me, making me work pretty hard. And I was again, looking at the watts per kilo. I was like, right, we've done it. I can catch her up. And then this absolute speed demon came out of nowhere who was putting down some absolute power. I was like, right, this is like another little stimulus. I need to catch her up. And I started pushing hard. I was looking at her watts per kilo. She was doing like 4.6, 4.7. And so I'm trying to either match that or get higher, which is what I was doing. And that's why I look so shattered. <laughs> um, so I eventually caught her. And at this point, then I'm like, okay, I'm 10th. 
let's just keep on let's keep on pushing so i've got 1.6 kilometers left to go of the um, of the climb this is i feel bad actually because joanna who's in front of me i actually know her she put the anvil power up you see a little gray circle again she's on a climb and she's picked that i don't know if she did it by mistake but that means that you're 50 kilos heavier and on a climb that is just gonna slow you right down so i feel yeah i feel really bad but that is zwift you've got to use tactics you've got to use your power-ups right and you've got to be able to push the power i am just pushing away we've got 400 meters left and look at my little face look at my heart rate it's like 179 180 and the last 100 meters i was pushing so hard to get past i've got my max heart rate which is 185 and that is the end of the race like how fun is that like look how look how much effort i've put in i am exhausted but i managed to come six and this is like my little message of the day is don't give up if you are on a club ride and you're dropped if you are on a Zwift ride and you're dropped or if you just feel like your train isn't going as well just just keep on pushing because to me like these races yes they are races but they're fun and they're just a workout and I absolutely love it so I'll leave a link below if you want to sign up to uh, Zwift Racing League see you next video